So at the moment we've got 16 voices, but we could increase that number to uh, as many as we think the CPU can handle. I'm going to put in 100. Um, but one other thing I'm going to do is to put in um, a way of, if we were to use all of those 100 voices, uh, if we were to do some really intense granulation, um, which one of the ways we might end up doing that, I'll show you in a minute, um, then I want to be able to uh, override the uh, voice allocation um, and get it to steal voices. So if, if it run out, runs out of voices, I want it to be able to trigger new ones. So if I do at steal and turn that on, so give a message of one. So the at attribute steal allows me to, uh, to do that, to uh, steal voices when I need to. Um, so that, that, uh, that, that sorts that one out. Um, one other thing we could do here, um, at the moment we only have one hit per metro bang. Um, but something that I quite like to do is to uh, allow it to trigger more than one grain with each metro hit. Uh, so to do that I use the Uzi object um, and the Uzi is like a machine gun so it can fire off multiple uh, bang, bangs or numbered uh, in rapid succession uh, or essentially all at once. Um, so if I connect that up between uh, the metro and the button object here uh, then I can simply give it a number into its right hand inlet and that will say okay well you can have X number of hits uh, every time you hit every time you trigger a sample you're actually triggering two or three samples for example or more. Uh, so I can do that. At the moment it's got none, hence no sound. That's one. Three or four for example. Um, which is more effective if you... You can hear that several things are being triggered with the each individual bang. So for kind of chord clusters and things like that, that can work quite nicely. Uh, so if we have everything the same length. Um, and say go to... Six voices, or indeed 15 voices. So I've done this kind of thing and then spatialized each one of the items so you get these kind of chord clusters uh, across a spatial array. Anyway, that's quite enough of that. I'll go back to one. Uh, you get quite a nice... Um, Quite a nice time stretch or a granular freeze by doing by doing this. Uh, of course, if you really wanted a time stretch, then you would do something like this. Um, so, so we want it to read from zero to thirty seconds over. Oh sorry, so zero to five seconds, which is the length of the sound file roughly over thirty seconds. that so plus uh, 200 no let's say 1000 milliseconds between there we go so it's quite a clean uh, granular effect and it works very well as a kind of brassage as well so that's the basic engine uh, we might uh, we might come back and make some 
some changes and additions to uh, increase and improve the functionality of that in the next videos.